Catherine. Still Catherine. Pretty good. Oh, I just saw the Jake message in chat. That's cute. Let's go, Jake. Um, da -da 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 -da. Ready? Go. Can we get more, Jake? We can. Oh, look at that. Look, so much, Jake. How are we going to finish this? We're not. Caleb, would you like to hop on commentary? Yeah. Caleb just walks away. Yeah. We'll be on stream next, Caleb. Yeah. I love how I, I ask if Caleb wants to get on commentary. Just like, he just like looks at me and just walks away. One day that boy will learn to communicate. One day, one day. Alright, what do we got? The fair? I love the fair there. Unfortunately, not gonna connect. Oh! So smart! Jake hits my O. Gets all happy about it. Cute. I love seeing 39% off a grab here. Oh, side B not the option there. And that little jump in, a little bit greedy. Peach's moves pretty good. Excellent there. We'll take 40 off that. But unfortunately, we weren't going any further. And Catherine might take this all the way to the bank. But she gets a get up attack. <laughs> but his stock is gone while I looked away. Is Gabby kind of a goat? Alright, we're going to up B. Are we going to go in? We are going to go in. Kath not covering it particularly well. Jake just jumping forward. A little bit dangerous there. Catherine with the empty float and then the grab. I'd love to see an up here. here. Doesn't matter. Nair kills anyway. And we're onto a fresh stock. The invincibility not used particularly well. I think that's something all the um, the mid-level Falcons can work on. Is like being a lot more oppressive with your invincibility. I love the little weights in Jake's punish right now. They're getting him so much. Back in center. The turn up. The, the, I love the Nair to lead off the tournament. And Kath, a little bit patient, not over committing there. Very smart. Gonna get him a little bit more damage. Another Nair off stage, that's good. Scalpy, oh, I don't like how low he dropped there. I don't love that Falcon kick, but it's gonna get him back because Catherine misses the tournament. Neither connecting. Okay, I, I thought Catherine almost lost his jump. But, not quite. Alright. Off ledge, what do we got? Tournament winner, gonna get him back. Unfortunately, gonna be knocked off stage with a nair. Big up air there, but unfortunately, not gonna be able to get much off it. That knee somehow connects. How did we end up with Pokemon Stadium game one? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I just, as my mind, my mind like processed that three minutes into this game, but you know what? We love Catherine. I feel like we've died twice to Pokemon Stadium here. And we haven't gotten anything out of it. Insane knee! Insane up air! Oh! If that stomp wasn't... Oh, just needed a little bit earlier there, but the idea was great. Alright, th being awful off the ledge this whole set might cost him game one. DI not quite there. We like the high... Oh, the little delay on the Nair going to take game one. Catherine Clutch. Jake is like one step away from having a full edge guard punish flowchart. 
but going to be able to get the ledge trap. Honestly, looking better than Caleb at the in the corner. When Catherine's in the corner, I'm more scared for Catherine. Than, I'm more scared for Catherine than when I when I watch Caleb play. Oh, that stomp was great too. That bear. Oh, I love that grab too. Can we link the second knee? Not quite. Side B works out there. Honestly, good option. Catherine had no jump, but not taking advantage of the weirdest edge cancel I've ever seen, but kind of makes it work. Up B. More people should be watching this. Jake oh my god, that linked. Okay. Decisive uh, lead by Jake in game two. Finally gets a ledge dash, however, there was almost no invincibility on that. Jake going a bit too low on those ledge dashes. Need to practice them a little bit more. Yeah, these ledge dashes are um, sketchy. Honestly, it'd be better using a lot more like aerial, like nair from ledge with different drifts. Um, the knee not quite a connect. Huge stomp. Ooh, the nair one gonna be di'd out of. Oh, I was like, there's a knee here, but you have to be so confident. Jake was. Very much enjoying watching Caleb's expression as this game's going. Sitting back there watching. It's very cute. What happens? Oh no. Let's have a look. Limp Biscuit Tramp Stamp is now. Congratulations to Rosario Flame. You will play the loser of eight, which is. A lot of games to be played. <laughs> like the Kai Catherine side of bracket. Or maybe the Kai Ka Scalpy side of bracket. Would you like to join me or are you chilling? Hell yeah. Scalpy takes clean game two. Looking good, by the way. Love having Rosario Flame here. Who do you go for in this set? In this set, I don't know. I don't feel know. like. Uh, to a certain extent, oh, this is... This is uh, the big chain grab for this job. Yeah, Catherine normally is pretty good on the chain grabs on FD, not perfect though. Yeah, decent. Uh, yeah. He's decent. Um, scoreboard and game. I want all the best for Scalpy, but at the same time i got to be a realist and go for Catherine this mm. time. Scalpy took Cast to game 5 last time. Yeah. And uh, game 2 looks good. Like, real good. It was like a 2 stop. Off like, I think there was like one or two zero to death in there. A lot of like nasty links. Scalby's getting better, especially best speech. Yeah. Oh, oh, great grab there. And Catherine does not have those, uh, that DI. Mm. <laughs> How are you feeling playing melee tonight? I'm feeling good. Hell I yeah. feel like it's always one of those things where the more effort I put into improving temporarily, the worse I get. Yeah, that's... It's like the long-term results, and I know that, like, I don't know, even if I get shit on by literally everyone tonight, it's like, I really don't care because I'm proud of the work that I've been doing. Yeah, you've started the process of improving. Yeah, it's happening. just like, that's I've been spending so much time grinding, not only just, like, unranked and ranked, but also just, like, labbing things out, nice. and taking notes, uh, doing, like, VOD reviews. Hell yeah, that stuff. makes me so and happy to like, hear. If I'm... Getting like red if like Caleb is just bombing knees into the corner, hitting it every time, and I'm like, I'm okay with this. You know what? Because I know what's happening on the screen. I feel like there's a process to improve. That makes me really know it's something where it's like, I think part of it is when you're really putting in the effort to improve, is that it it kind of overwhelms your mental stack at yep. the moment as you're trying to incorporate new things into it. And I think that Falcon especially is like a lot of the time where, it's, you know, if I'm just on unranked, I can just like power shield a stomp or ID every single time. Sure. But it's like when you're trying to really incorporate everything. Yeah, it gets a lot it, harder. Yeah. No, I definitely felt that, especially on the come up. Something um, I think would be good for you to focus is um, just focus on the new things you're trying to put in. Yeah. Where it's just like be happy with your sets if you put in like something you worked on or you saw a situation differently and you handled yeah. it differently. That's what you should be really trying to, try to do. That's one thing that, believe it or not, it's good advice, but the way that I remembered it best is that I remember I was trying to learn to skate, and it was uh, I was with Kate and Swag. Yep. Uh, and then they were saying, I think uh, because actually wait, I've forgotten what Kate's screen name is. 
Fuck it. Um, uh, it's just Kate. Kate. Just Kate. Actually, it is. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, Kate was just like, yeah, the trick to learning how to skate is only learn one trick at a time. Yep. And I was just like, yeah, that's the exact same with Melee. I yeah, feel like is. you've got to learn one trick at a time. Zane's yeah. talked about this a lot. Yeah, I don't know. There's so much stuff like that where it's crossover from different fields into improving in Melee. Where it's just like, I'm watching an analytical video on Hi, whatever. Hi, Do you have a score to report for me? Let's go yellow. Yeah, FDs, FDs. Uh, you got two FD games? Yeah. Why is it not loading? That is... Yeah. Loser of this. Oh, that's an exciting set. If it's, uh, if it's Scalpy. We'll see, though, because Scalpy looks good on not FD. Like, real good. Like, game one was close on Stadium. Game two was an ownage on Yoshi's. And game three was really controlling the cat. So, we'll see what happens. There's, like, a small spot where Scalpy's just a little bit slow. Or the instant knees are just not the play. It's like I think Scalpy needs to learn the spots where you delay the knee a little bit more so you land it. La actually land the strong knee and land it close to the ground. Mm. Big stitch from Kath and not picked up. Yeah, Falcon's recovery just feels like I, it takes very little effort for labbing and you can just cover every option every time. So Kinda. Kinda. Yeah, you can in the easy spots, but there's a lot of there's a lot more ambiguous spots and ways to make it harder. It's just all the fucking suck. Wait, is it just me or is Scalpy actually kinda clean with it? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So that's, uh, that's not just you. I've been I've been saying like game two, there were like multiple zero to deaths of like legitimately good grab combos. It was crazy. So true, your CZ. Well, it's not your CZ, it's just H then, S then. Wait, you, is that Hearthstone or is that something else? What's the HS? I'm curious. Maybe like Headshot if it's CS? No, actually no, CS it's, players don't have Yeah, I was like trying to think. And Herbs and Spices. Uh, That's crazy. That's crazy lore right there. Thank you for that, Yosh. How are you feeling tonight? Ooh, that fair? Not going to be it. If that was a slapdash, you actually get a punish of that, but Kath, not, not in that mindset. Oh. Sorry, slapdash? So you, because fair auto cancels until like it comes out, if you double jump fast fall, you can like quickly fall to the ground with like drift and then instantly actionable. So if you're in that, like that, that down throw, uh, you can like diagonally jump down to the ground and the knee lands in front of you and you double jump. Okay. There we go. We're teaching teaching Peach Tech. Right? Yeah. I but feel like that's one thing that I need ooh. to learn learning Peach Tech. That down throw is insane. I'm stealing that. That cast out. Oh, no. And that's the end of the set. Good effort by Scalpy, though. I'm excited to see the next set. Um, and then I'll have Caleb on stream, I suppose. Thank you so much for talking to me. It's good. I, it makes me really happy to hear like you talk about the game and your mindset right now. It's, it's huge improvement. Excited to see what you do with it. 